Uh, there's one detector staff here already, but uh, looks like he's up in the shallow water. I'm going to start on the other end. And we'll uh, work our sails back out to the deep. Lake's up this year. And uh, I don't know. Let's get out there. Let's see what we find. Let's go have some fun. lakes I'm going to hit today and uh, if it all works out good I'm the only one there or at least the first one there I'm uh, I'll probably get some good rings today but uh, we'll just have to wait and see I've been on the road since 4 15 this morning it's 7 o'clock now still got about 30 minutes to go and uh, but hopefully it's going to be a good day and I want to remind you if you haven't had a chance or you haven't subscribed yet and you like my channel please give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, if you really want to know when my videos are coming out uh, hit that bell notification as well but until then i've got a little bit ways to go so uh, i will see you out in the water all right i'm in the lake uh let's see what we can find I moved on from that other lake and uh, I just hit in this lake on the way to my next lake where I, I think it was going to be some good rings there. But I came up with this uh, 40, I think a 47. It's a stainless steel ring with a wood inlay. And so I've been here about 10 minutes and this is my first ring. And uh, so I'm going to hit this for about 20 more minutes and see what we come up with and then we're going to move on to the next lake. All right, here it is, trivia time. Back in February of this year, I went on a trip to England with 10 other YouTubers and we called ourselves the Dirty Dozen. There was 12 of us that went. At the end of that week, we did an award ceremony with different types of awards. I actually won one of those awards. What was the name of the award that I won on the Dirty Dozen England trip back in February? First one to answer that question correctly is going to win a Preacher Digger sticker and something else. So. Good luck, everybody. Made it out to my third location. Uh, there's one detector out here already, but uh, looks like he's up in the shallow water. I'm going to start on the other end, and we'll uh, work our sails back out to the deep. Lake's up this year, and uh, I don't know. Let's get out there. Let's see what we can find. Let's go have some fun. the rings that I got at that first lake. There's uh, another detectorist there and there were some swimmers there so I didn't really want to bring any attention to myself but I did get this uh, little bitty stainless steel or it could be white gold I'm not sure it's ringing up like a 41 really small I got that one and then I got like an 83 and I got this rope uh, silver ring and that's a good one too and so uh, and then at the last one, I thought I got a stainless steel ring but actually it's a tungsten carbide uh, wood and grain uh, ring. So that's the three I've got so far. Uh, not sure. I haven't got anything out here at this lake yet, but I just started. A lot of pull tabs though. A lot of pull tabs. So uh, the lake is really high, so we can't get out there in the deep. And uh, I'm going to try to go as deep as I can go and see what we come up with. So uh, 
Can't find green stalking, can we? Let's get in here and let's uh, let's get the get the swinging underwater. Let's go. Well, I made it home. It was a long day yesterday. I went to six different lakes. Three were flooded out due to the hurricane. I couldn't hunt them, so the three that I did hunt, I got two rings at one lake and one ring at another lake. And uh, but I drove seven hours yesterday. I hunted ten uh, uh, ten hours. And it was a 17-hour day for me, and oh, about 600 miles that I drove, and for very little. It'll be my last hunt. Usually, this last water hunt is usually a real good hunt for me, uh, but the lakes were flooded, and you couldn't get out to the deep where the rings were, and so it just wasn't a good, uh, just wasn't a good hunt at all together. But anyway, I enjoyed it. It's my last hunt for the season, and uh, so I'm washing everything up today. And going to start transitioning over to land hunting here in two weeks. I'm going to take a little break and get my gear set up and cleaned up. And then I'm headed out to Missouri and then on up to Wisconsin for a four-day dig. And uh, so we're going to have a good time with that. So uh, I've got everything laid out here. Let me show you what I got. All right, here's all my trash. I got my aluminum foil, got a lighter, all my aluminum caps, fishing gear, odds and ends, screws, little goggles there that were just floating on the on top of the water. Uh, some bottle caps, all my beer tabs, uh, beaver tails, and my round ones there. And uh, here's all the, the money. I got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 pennies. I've got uh, 6 nickels and 10, 20, or 19 dimes. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 dollars and 25 cents. Is that right? <clears throat> 7 dollars and 25 cents. And I got a super super neat car some type of uh, I don't know what that is some type of pin uh, I don't know if it's uh, man I don't know I, I got a key and then here's my earrings I got two studs and one big loop got this little bracelet right here got these two I believe this is a piercing maybe like in the nose or in the ears I don't know I don't think it's a ring it's not a toe ring and that's a belly button piercing uh, then I got one butterfly necklace, and then I got just three rings out of all that work. I got this little stainless steel. I thought it was gold. It's ringing up like gold, ringing up like stainless steel, but it was uh, no marking on it, so I'm assuming it's stainless steel. Real nice tungsten carbide. I thought this was a silver ring when I was in the water. Comes out being a tungsten carbide and with a wood grain. Very pretty ring. And then my best find of the day was this nice uh, rope ring i haven't looked to see who who the maker is on that but anyway that's silver i wanted to show everybody everything that i dug this is all the trash to get those 63 64 rings all those necklaces earrings all that money everything else you got to dig all of this and this is stuff that i don't show you in my videos that people don't understand that we dig so much trash in order to get the treasure and look, there's all my aluminum cans. I don't dig a lot of those. Uh, I'm not the lake janitor, so I don't. I, I know what they sound like, so I don't dig a lot of them. There's all the foil and all other types of stuff. Batteries, beer bottles. I just step on, so I'll pick them up if I step on them. Uh, all the metal and steel, all this stuff. Every bit of this did not come off of the sand on the beach. This all came out of the water. Every bit of this came out of the water. Here's all the aluminum caps, all the bottle caps. All the beaver tails, all the um, different uh, square pull tabs. I'm actually sending these two to the pull tab archaeologist in uh, Holland in the Netherlands. He actually does research on those. So I'm going to wash them up here and uh, send, those, send those to him. Here's the new item for the 2020 year. These are all those vape pens that the kids are smoking out there. And I uh, dug a lot of those. A lot of sunglasses. I normally don't get these. You get these in the river hunting, but not so much in the lake. But I dug a lot of sunglasses this time. Lots of lead, fishing lures, things like that. And here's hair bows and different things like that. I got another pair of goggles. That's my second pair. I don't know where the other pair are. I think I gave it to my granddaughter. Uh, some type of toys. I'm not sure. A couple of bullets. Um, a lighter. Some fingernail, toenail clippers. And some hair barrettes. And so... There it is, folks. That's why I think it's so good that we detectors get out into the lake because look at that. That's what you're swimming on when you're in the water. That is just unreal. People don't know how to throw their trash away. And so I like to show this video to those lakes that won't let us hunt. 
I take this video and I show them all this stuff and tell them this is what comes out of the lake. Anyway, I had a good 2020 season. I think I ended up with 63, 64 rings. I'm going to take a picture and show those in this video as well. And uh, so I'm hanging it up. Going to get ready to transition over to some land hunting and uh, hang up the water this year. So I had a good time. Thanks for coming along. Thank you for all the comments and uh, the likes and the subscriptions to my videos. If you haven't done that, I ask you to please subscribe. We say the greatest treasure is not what can be found sitting here on your tailgate. The greatest treasure can be found up in heaven, my friend. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless.